All right, next item and the last item for this evening is uh, approval to proceed with the request for proposal for uh, option two for 2009 insurance coverage. I'll make that motion. I'll second. A motion made by Trustee Sigwald, seconded by Trustee Hines, Manager Anderson. Thank you. And uh, actually, we're, this item was uh, discussed at the Finance Commission meeting uh, last week um, with the Owens Group. Uh, the Audit and Finance Commission uh, agreed with the recommendation of the Owens Group and staff that uh, uh, the Village Board go with option two for the insurance coverage which would, <coughs> excuse me, includes the social worker and underground, state, underground storage tank coverage. Um, what we're looking for tonight is your, by the motion and a vote is just your approval to go ahead in that direction so the Owens Group can do what they need to do. Trustee Humphrey. Thank you. Um, I would ask a couple things. Um, and first, maybe I, I want to take a step back first and look at the, uh, uh, look at the detail of this proposal, and I just want to comment on a couple things that uh, we're going to need to do. Thank you for men mentioning the underground storage tanks. Uh, that's important coverage that we need to have. We do have underground storage tanks in the village, and it's uh, this coverage is needed to protect the uh, uh, the village as well as the environment from any leakage. Um, there's two items I, I want to discuss on here. One is a third-party administrator that we're going to have to employ in order to uh, settle claims. Um, as I described in my report, the amount of premium is going to be less than what we paid previously, uh, and part of that will be paid to a uh, third-party administrator. Um, so I wanted to highlight that, that uh, we aren't going to be using, uh, well, we will be using the insurance company, but there will be an administrator in between them to provide information back and forth. The other thing, too, that I also mentioned is the risk management services. That's $17,000, which is part of this proposal as well. And I think we've already, and I, I, from what we heard at the Audit and Finance Commission, staff has been pleased so far with what they've uh, uh, received relative to these services. Uh, they were, uh, I believe they've already been in to interview most of the department heads to get information from the department heads and understand their concerns with uh, loss control. And they plan to develop a, um, uh, or tailor a loss control program, um, you know, to meet the needs of the village and help reduce the amount of costs uh, that we've uh, spent on claims and also reduce the number of claims which is important to reduce in reducing the cost um, but my the question I have is one of the things that I am not sure is included in that recommendation is the op optional uh, umbrella insurance uh, umbrella insurance ten million dollars excess of ten million dollars and I would really like to move forward with securing that coverage. And um, when the Owens Group met with us, they said that um, they had gotten some feedback from the insurance companies that the, for the amount of premium that we've been discussing tonight, but they hadn't put out their best effort to see if they could get that amount reduced further. I don't know if they will. They said that they were going to provide more information. Uh, to the insurance companies to see if that amount could be reduced further. Let's hope they're successful there. But I really, I, uh, one of the things that the Owens Group pointed out to us is that in a uh, general liability loss where someone is uh, a paraplegic, <coughs> you're looking anywhere from $10 million to $12 million in, um, in a claim for that particular situation. And this umbrella coverage is 10 million X to 10 million, meaning there's $10 million of coverage on top of the 10 million that we already have, um, would be able to be used in a situation like that. I think uh, we should have that information. The increased limits, unfortunately, in the litigious world that we live in today is necessary. And I think we should really think hard about uh, getting that coverage. And I, uh, as a system manager, uh, have any questions or concerns, or is that part of the part of the cost structure? I believe with how it's, how they have this in option two, that is what they will include in the f formal RFP for this. I didn't see a line here. item for it, so right. I just wanted to make sure it was in right. there. Right, and that's one of the things that when they looked at that gave us the cost of the 731 that was included in that bracket for there. Good. And uh, like they said in the meeting, uh, I believe the Owens Group believes that the numbers may even come in less than what you see on the, the forms here. 
and if that happens, then uh, obviously it'll be a, an additional savings to the village. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, that's that's all. I'll yield it. Okay, Terry, please call the roll. Trustee Humphrey. Yes. Trustee Hines. Yes. Trustee Sigwell. Yes. Trustee Ramirez Lewinsky. Yes. Trustee Ritter. Yes. President Sardo. Yes. That concludes our business for this evening. Go ahead. Yes. We have some guests in the audience, and they're here for a reason, and they, okay. for some reason, they were never put on the agenda. Um, <laughs> would there be an I was wondering to why the they were here. Come up agenda. and speak. Would any members of the board have issues? Is there any objection to having uh, what they, is it they, about? They, well, but they waited all night. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, Jan, Jan I was wondering is, why I, they were here. I, I, I feel yeah, I bad was, now. I was yeah. wondering too. Yeah. Please. Okay, please come forward if you have something to. Well, purely for entertainment purposes. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you, hope you get your money's worth. My name is John Blanchard. I'm the commander of the VFW Post 5915 at Carpentersville. I'm also the executive director of NASA Education Corporation, a 501c3 organization that caters primarily to homeless, disabled, disadvantaged, and veterans in transition. We are taking part in the Oktoberfest on the 19th. And we're very pleased with that. Some of the things that we're going to be doing there will help veterans in Carpentersville along with the VFW. But one of the things I wanted to ask this evening is with the events that we've got taking place in the parks, we've got the Navy's birthday, 233rd birthday, uh, a captain from Great Lakes uh, Naval Base will be there, the Navy Band will be there, and food back at the post. You enjoyed our food, and <laughs> Mr. President has, has put over there. Uh, but then also the Marine Corps birthday is coming up November 11th or 13th? I didn't have it in front of me. I think it's the 11th. The 11th? Yeah. And uh, a whole series of events. Uh, taking over as the commander of the VFW post also has a community involvement that's attached to it. We're hoping to work with you on the uh, uh, smoke detectors in the house, uh, the houses that you're trying to put out. Uh, not the fires, but the smoke detectors and have them put up but also the community involvement in the parks. Uh, there's a park over off of Tulsa. We'd like to join forces with the parks committee to take care of, not volunteering with waivers and things, but delivering flowers, delivering you know, some things, 13 acres to be cleaned up in there for, the, for Carpentersville and for our veterans. It's a Vietnam Memorial over there. So, the things that Carpentersville Post VFW 15 is doing, and NASA Education that takes care of a lot of Kane County and Carpentersville veterans, you're going to be seeing an awful lot of us, and certainly to better Carpentersville and better the citizens and community. And that's all I have. But if you want to come to the parties we have, uh, the Navy birthday is going to be, uh, what's going to be, a, I'm sorry? Monday night at 6 o'clock. Monday night, 6 o'clock at Veterans Monday? Garden. Yes. Very good. Weather makes no difference. Yeah. Sailors can get wet. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. And thank, thank you, you for, for letting me sit around. through the whole meeting. Yeah, sorry you waited so long. Yeah. Sorry you waited so long. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, here's your fault. Okay, now I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. I'll second that motion. Motion made by Trustee Sigwell, seconded by Trustee Hines. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? We are adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>